And for our top focus story, we'll take you to Bangalore, where headlines today has learned that the Bangalore child rape accused was a serial offender. Mustafa, what we are being told by our sources, used to touch kids, especially girls, a lot inappropriately. And he had, in fact, been sacked for gross misconduct. He'd been given three warnings earlier in 2011. He worked at a different school at that point of time. Sadly, the school did not raise the matter with the police. The school maintains it did its job by sacking him. The police weren't approached. No complaints of molestation were made by any parents. Shocked parents and BJP workers protested outside the school in Bangalore where this six-year-old girl child was raped in school. The first arrest in the case was made. Mustafa was the skating instructor at the school. He was arrested. The police are still looking for the second accused in this case. Now, police tried to stop protesters from crossing the barricades. The protest turned violent. Bharatiya Janta Party's women's wing also protested outside the town hall in Bangalore. College students also joined the protest. And those are pictures we bring to you of the accused in this case. 30-year-old Mustafa is the skating instructor at that school. And sources tell headlines today, this isn't his first offence. There is tremendous anger, tremendous anger on the streets of Bangalore. Why was this predator in school? Top police sources have told headlines today, this man you see with that black hood, this man used to surf child porn on his laptop. Several child porn sites were saved on his laptop, according to the Bangalore police. Those are pictures of angry protesters clashing with the police. The police had to resort to a lati charge and headlines today is Rohini Swami now joins me with the latest on this shocking story. Rohini, take us through the details of the previous offences, alleged offences of, of this 30-year-old skating teacher of that school. Well, Gaurav, it's almost like a Pandora's box. One leads to another. What we get to know now, now is that um, this accused Mustafa used to work in another school called Dean School, which is located in Whitefield in Bangalore. And he was working there for two years and he was terminated with immediate effect from that school. The principal of that school very clearly has told us off camera though that uh, he w there were complaints against him that he was unnecessarily touching the children in the school, which is against the school's policy. Three warnings are given to the person after which the person is terminated automatically. Okay. We did raise the question that if this kind of the if this man was touching them, why was no police complaint yes. filed? What she said was that they were basically he was basically touching them on the shoulder and other places and not which could lead to a, what would call molestation. And it is the co policy of the school that a person is terminated as soon as an act of this sort happens. Another but important point for the termination make, clearly that, is not enough. Will the school now investigate? Will the school now ensure that predators like Mustafa are not out on streets? I mean, one, did any parent, did any child in the previous school make a complaint, Rohini? No, that's the point and that's what she's saying that nobody raised a formal complaint but children were saying it in passing so after three warnings he was terminated with immediate effect in, in, in 2011 December. But let me make an important point to you in terms of the background check because what we also know from this school, Dean school where he was working earlier before the, this, uh, where we have been told that the background check was not done there too because he was working in the owner's house as, as and, and that is why based on trust he was recruited into that school then he's terminated then he goes and applies in the next school where he's now accused of uh, sexually assaulting a six-year-old yes. again no background check has been done this clearly shows that not, most schools in Bangalore or for that matter a lot of schools do not do background checks of the employees who they're getting into stay and this me, is very sad me. because is, they wouldn't know the predators of the school themselves yes, Rohini, this is absolutely shocking also joining me is Ranjana Kumari, a well-known women's and child rights activist.
activist uh, Ranjana Kumari uh, as Rohini is just telling our viewers Mustafa this 30 year old skating instructor at the school in Bangalore he had in the past he had a past history of inappropriately touching uh, uh, girl students at various schools and yet no action was taken against him in the past how can you stop such predators how can you spot such predators in future well if people knew and if this is a person who has been uh, you know doing it and uh, now that whole history is coming out what are these schools doing what kind of a, you know appointment authorities uh, you know mindset is if they knew the person they don't want to check any kind of credentials, even the smallest of the job you do, do you want to know where the person was earlier, what kind of a, why did the person leave that job, was he thrown out of the job, you know, all kinds of reasons for being thrown out of the job. So there are many, many ways to check it. Then it just by picking up a phone and calling the principal of the earlier school would have helped. Yes. And I do not know what the earlier schools did, you know, what, what kind of a uh, thing is that. They should be uh, told to the other people that, you know, this is not somebody who you can higher because the person is a predator. It's a shame, you know, our system with children, we are playing with children, you know, we are just destroying lives of young girls. Now, this is not the way to manage system. This is not the way to manage schools where, you know, children yes. are not in same safe place in school, then where are they in safe place? I Absolutely. Don't That's a very valid point you're raising there, ma'am. If children are not safe at schools, where will children be safe and why did the school not conduct a background check on this 30 year old skating teacher i want to bring in anita kanhaya head of the freedom project uh, in, in into this conversation uh, anita kanhaya in a situation like this can the school absolve itself of its responsibility and its complicity in this case no background check done here um definitely not i think uh, schools have a responsibility that their primary beneficiary or their you know, target group are children and they have a responsibility to, towards children to ensure that they are in a safe environment because they spend you know the major part of the day at school and if children can't be safe like the other speaker was saying if children can't be safe in school where can they be safe and i think schools have a responsibility to ensure that there are child protection um, policies child protection mechanisms in place to protect children it's not enough that the school is a safe place, that the yes. buildings are safe. But, you know, even the people they employ, even the staff, um, should be people who have been checked, should be people who have clean uh, past, should be people who have been trained, who have been signed in to a child protection policy. There should be training on how to deal with children, what is good touch, what is bad touch, what is safe, what yes. is unsafe. Both children as well as the staff dealing with them should be trained on this regularly, not enough to have just one not enough to have a child policy in place but everybody's forgotten about it in a situation like this should an example be made of this school should action be taken against the management of the school for not having done a background check ma'am um, action being taken against the school I think there is some action being taken uh, it's a bit too late actually to take some action against the school now when something like this has happened but I think an example yes other schools other educational institutions should sit up and notice that the reason why something like this happened was that there wasn't something in place to prevent this from happening okay. now if we have to prevent things like this yes. from happening they have to ensure that children are safe and protected and that there are mechanisms in place that is very important ranjana kumari legally legally what action can be taken against the school management for not doing a background check considering this 30 year old skating teacher had a history of inappropriately touching girl students in the past you know, POXO provides for the framework. It is never too late. It is not too late. It is the school which is responsible. Under POXO, you are supposed to protect children. And if sexually, a sexual offense happens against the children, the person who, whose custody the child is, is held responsible. Yes. So I think it is not late. Its principal will have to be booked because she did not or he did not let this whole thing, you know, uh, known to anybody for so many days, the whole yes. story came out late. He tried to hide it for the fear of losing the reputation of the school. Yes. So I think this is something where he has been party to the crime of sexual yes. offense against the child. So you, you cannot say that nothing can be done. He has to be or she has to be booked. There is no question of 
such people an example not only that nobody is learning in delhi it happened it happened in up school it happened everywhere it happens nobody learns you know and then they when they get caught or something like that happens in the school then everybody wakes up to the call and and everything i think education administration in the country has to take notice of this whether it is the minister whether it is the ministry under him or nc at all kinds of educational institutions which are managing schools yes. which are giving them permission registration they all have to now would wake up to the call in oh, any absolutely that, yeah. but is 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 any of this happening or are we only discussing this in television studios let me bring in rohini swami for more on this rohini uh, as ranjana kumari and and anita kanhaiya were pointing out will action be taken against the management and this is complicity this school management kept quiet they tried to hush up the case they haven't done a background check what's the police doing about the principal and the management well like anjana kumari nanita was saying was saying under the poxo act the section 21 uh, and uh, vicarious uh, culpabilities which the school management can be uh, uh, under and what we also know right now is that yes action will be taken against the school police are building up the case against him because this is not just one case because obviously then there are a lot of schools that have not done background checks and uh, they have and it is it is it is important at this time a uh, one just one case and a knee jerk reaction that's not what the police want as of now yes. and what we also know is as i speak right now yes the police officers have been sent to schools okay. not on okay For the moment, for the moment, Ranjana Kumari, Anita Kanhaiya, and Rohini Swami, many thanks for joining me. Before we move on in this bulletin, let's listen into the Bangalore Police Commissioner about the action being contemplated in this case and investigation so far. A laptop and a mobile from him, and in the laptop uh, we have found uh, some videos which are downloaded from the internet, uh, and the title of the video is the. Uh, rape of school children we have done some check about his background from some respectable people and uh, there were uh, they have confirmed that uh, there were uh, uh, some allegations against him that uh, he used to show the video or uh, photographs which were not in good taste to children noxious man there that mustafa he is the 30 year old skating teacher at that school he has now been arrested his accomplice is still at large now two weeks after this 6 year old girl child was raped at school the outrage is mounting look at these pictures on your television screen parents well wishers bjp workers college students they all gathered outside the school in bangalore where this 6 year old child was raped on sunday the first arrest was made in this case the accused was presented in court the police are still looking for his accomplice when the police tried to stop the protesters from climbing the barricades the protesters turned violent the bjp mahila morcha also protested outside the town hall in bangalore college students joined in